Right, so we're gonna make some kombucha. We just take and we tie our tea bags together and we use six tea bags per gallon of kombucha that we're gonna make. So we're making two gallons. And then we boil it for 10 minutes on the stove. As you can see, this isn't a very big pot. And we do that for a reason, because we don't want to wait for the tea to cool down before we add it to the kombucha that has the scoby. If you add liquid that is too hot, it'll kill the scoby. This is our process of making the second fermentation. We're going to fill some bottles, and then we like to put naked mango juice in them. We think that's the best for kombucha. Because of the yeast that builds up in the container, we like to use a strainer, and we do it over our sink so we don't make a mess. And the bottle is too tall, so we just strain it into another container first. We fill our clean, very clean bottles with kombucha. Okay, so we only fill it to about here, maybe about an inch before the neck. And then put in our naked mango juice just to the rim. It looks like butternut soup. It does. Or pumpkin soup. Mm -hmm. See, I'm not a good pourer. That's why we do it in the sink. So we fill it to about here. And then we put our cap on. And then we rinse it off. Just so it doesn't get sticky because I spill. And then we leave it out on the counter somewhere for two to three days before putting it in the refrigerator. So this is some blueberry that we made and it's already been in the fridge and as you can see it's filled with carbonation. Beautiful! So we don't have to wait for it to cool down. We mix half and half ratio of the tea with the sugar in it along with the water to make sure that it's cool enough to go in to the kombucha. So once your tea is cooled down to room temperature, you pour it in your vessel and make sure that you save at least two cups of your original kombucha in with your scoby. Okay, so once it's full, then we cover ours with a cotton towel. Flour sack towel. Tie it with a little bit of jute, and we keep it in a dark place. At this point, we it usually is finished in less than a week because our scoby is so large and healthy. It can take up to two weeks depending on your scoby, as well as the temperature where you are storing your kombucha. I like kombucha. Mm.